Welcome guys to another uh, <clears throat> Fall of the Empire. This time we are going to look into uh, one of my favorite people in politics. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She thinks she might never be the president of the United States. But not because she's a fucking moron, incompetent, young, naive, hasn't passed a single bill in her position. I think only two made the floor. I mean, just go look at her record on Google and see how many of her ideas even made it to the Senate floor. <laughs> it isn't any of those things where she'll never be the president. It's because here in America, <clears throat> we don't like brown women. Let's hear this ditch real quick. Follow the empire. This woman <laughs> has more reach and more power than most of us. We are fucked. We're fucked and you guys don't see it. Saying that her experience in Congress has given her a quote front row seat to how deeply and unconsciously as well as consciously so many people in this country hate women. And they hate women of color. No, AOC. I hate you. It's you that I hate. I have no problem with women of color, my friend. No problem with women of color whatsoever. I just say stupid bitches. Todd, your thoughts on this? I would say... Is I'm going to hold my tongue. I hate stupid comments, and that is a stupid comment. We had Jimmy on my show. We are talking about this. Jimmy Fela, your buddy. Um, and we both come... Translation. I hate stupid bitches, and that was a stupid bitch. You see, that's why y'all here, yo. Because I'll give it to y'all how we talk. We talk to stupid bitch. Listen, bro. AOC's the dumbest motherfucker I've seen in my whole life. Like, I debate this bitch. I will smoke crack and debate this bitch. And I don't smoke crack. But I'm sure I could be half crack and make more sense than this dumbass bitch. I have a friend of mine, Roger. That nigga has an IQ of a potato. But when you speak to this man, this man's a street nigga. This man has a way more, he has way more of a grasp about what's going on around him than this fucking fool. Have you looked at the Bronx lately? If you haven't, follow my other channel, Tarzan Reacts to Violence. I stay in the Bronx. The Bronx is falling apart. It's literally a jungle. A jungle. And she's the overseer of the 45th precinct. And when you look at the laws she's trying to pass through Congress... Nothing has to do with her district. Most things are about some bullshit green deals that are never going to pass. You know what I mean? She doesn't know anything about the people that what are her constituents. Brown girls, brown guys, black guys, people of color. Those are the people that suffer the most under the Bronx. The only thing she's ever advocated for in the Bronx that actually made it through was bail reform. Meaning... Your kid goes outside, a blood nigga sees him, gives him a buck fifty, or knocks him the fuck out. Buck fifty is he slashes his face. Your kid does the right thing, goes to the cops. The cops get there, they can't find the knife. Your kid's word against his word. That guy gets no bail. That guy's back home in two hours. Your kid's scared as fuck, and so are you. Because they're bloods, and they have the power, you don't. Because you took out the only power you have to put them the fuck away, immediately away from you if they're being violent. That's the only thing AOC's done for the for the Bronx. And for New York, she got rid of Amazon. <laughs> she got rid of Amazon. These are career jobs for minority people. These are career jobs for people that they don't have to go to school. But because they got a tax break, no, she couldn't live with that. Pathetic. That's what the Bronx deserves. Everything it gets. Because they are like this... Dumbass bitch. Follow the empire, guy. Sorry for the profanity, but I'm a passionate guy, man. It's hard to not tell these people to go fuck themselves. 